Are you tired of the same old official Counter-Strike 2 servers? Or maybe you're craving a custom experience with your own community, unique maps and awesome plugins? Then it's time to take control! Today we'll go over the process of setting up a dedicated Counter-Strike 2 server. So stay tuned and let's make it happen! As of September 2023, Counter-Strike 2 has officially replaced Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Even if we have to wait a little bit for full support, Counter-Strike 2 now offers everything you'd want in a dedicated server. This includes mod and plugin support, workshop maps, official tools, community server browser listing, and everything else you need for full control. But if you've clicked on this video, you probably already have a plan for all the crazy plugins and game modes you're about to run on your server. So, let's jump to setting up the server itself. First, you'll need to pick a virtual private server provider. While it's possible to run your dedicated server from your own computer, it comes with several disadvantages. Namely, having to keep it running 24-7 and losing out on stability and performance. Instead, we recommend a reliable VPS host. You'll be able to choose the server's location for minimum ping and ensure you hit those hardware requirements. Luckily, Hostinger offers virtual private servers optimized for multiplayer games. It comes with GamePad, a graphical user interface for managing dedicated game servers. With up to 32 gigs of RAM and 8 vCPU cores, Hostinger's Counter-Strike server hosting ensures a seamless online gaming experience. To get started, go to hostinger.com cs2-hosting and choose a plan. A general rule of thumb is to allow at least 100 megabytes of RAM per player for classic game modes like public, competitive, and gun game. So, if you're planning to invite up to 40 players, choose the plan with 4 gigabytes of RAM. But I highly recommend going for more though, if you're going to use mods, plugins, or custom maps with tons of objects. Once you've chosen a plan, click Add to Cart and complete the checkout process. Everything should be pretty straightforward. Oh, by the way, if you're purchasing a Game Panel 2 or higher plan for 2 years or longer, type in the discount code for VPS10 for 10% 10 off. Once you've secured your plan, head to each panel, choose the VPS tab and click the setup button next to your new plan. Now, set the game panel password and choose a server location. Pick the data center closest to your players for the smoothest experience. Alright, your virtual private server is up and running. It's not a Counter-Strike 2 server just yet, but let's fix that. For that, you'll need a game server login token associated with your Steam account. Without it, your server won't be able to go live. There are a few requirements before the token can be issued though. You have to actually own Counter-Strike 2, the account must be associated with a registered phone number, and you cannot possess over a thousand game server accounts. That and your Steam account cannot be locked, limited or community banned, so if you've been naughty, you're out of luck. Let's get the token now, shall we? You need to log into Steam, not the app, but the website. You can follow this link, which is also in the description below the video. Now, scroll down to the Create a New Game Server Account section. In the first field, enter the app ID for Counter-Strike 2, which is 730. In the Memo field, enter your server's name or any other text that will help you keep track of it. Finally, click Create and the token will appear. Note it down as we will need it for the server configuration later. With all the requirements out of the way, let's launch a Counter-Strike 2 instance on your virtual private server and for this, we'll be using Hostinger's Game Panel. Starting from your VPS account, navigate to the Panel Access tab and click on the provided login URL. Enter your login credentials here and welcome to the Game Panel. Now, you'll want to click on Create Instance. From the Select Application drop-down list, choose Counter-Strike 2. Simply click Create and that's it! Your new Counter-Strike 2 instance is up and running. Before you can fully enjoy your own dedicated Counter-Strike 2 server, you'll need to finalize the setup. In this part, I'll show you how to configure the server and customize the gameplay. The game panel is the best tool for the job, so let's get back in there. Click on your Counter-Strike 2 instance and select Manage from the right side menu. Welcome to the server management page. From here, navigate to Configuration and then CS2 Server Settings. See the Game Server Account Token field? This is where the token we got from Steam goes. Paste it in. Scroll through the rest of the customization and take note of the settings. This is where you can choose maps, set the player account, adjust the server name, pick the game mode and implement Valve Anti-Cheat. 
Remember, you're in charge, so feel free to go nuts and set up the game to your liking. Once you're happy with everything, choose status from the left side panel and click start. Don't worry about the could not complete action error if you see it, it's just a part of the process. Go ahead and click OK. Now, the game panel will download the files required for the dedicated server to run. This will take up to 15 minutes. Monitor the console for the progress. And when the download finishes, you should see the following message. If you're still with me, great news because we're nearly there. There are just a couple more things before we can share the server with your friends and start playing. Go back to the Instances status page and click the Start button once more. This will reboot the server, so wait for the process to finish and click Return to Instances. On the right side menu, locate the Endpoint field. That's your server's IP address and port that players will use to join. Others can join your server by using the in-game server browser or by receiving an invite from you using the Steam Friends menu. Alternatively, you can skip any scrolling or friend invites and use the console instead. It's a bit more tricky, but here's how you can do it. Launch Counter-Strike 2 on your computer and open the settings. With the game options, select Yes for Enable Developer Console. After that, save the settings. When you're back in the main menu, press the tilde key usually found above the tab key and the console will open. Enter the following command, replacing server IP and port with the values you've got from the endpoint field. And congratulations! With this, you and your friends are now playing on your very own dedicated server. Of course, this is just the beginning of your role as a server owner. Be sure to get on the game panel and familiarize yourself with server management and resource monitoring. For all of that, you'll want to learn how to use console commands. You can access the console from the main menu of the game panel. Here are some commands to get you started, so just pause the video and copy them if you like. And there you have it. If you want to customize things even more, check out the description for some helpful links like our tutorial on how to install plugins on your CS2 server. Look at you! You're now the proud owner of a dedicated Counter-Strike 2 server. If you follow these instructions, your server should be up and running smoothly. Now, it's time to go out there and play. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility, so treat your players well. And if you feel that we've treated you well with this video, make sure to give it a little like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this coming your way in the future. Have fun running your server and I'll see you in the next video.